Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, uh, my girl Ange behind the lens there, she has said the light is the key, and you know what? She was right on. When you look at this car, it is like a beacon. Let me just tell you another thing. Go to a car show in this car at night. It is ridiculous. First off, it sounds spectacular, but pulling up in there, it has so many lumps, bumps, big wheels and tires, giant brakes, all that stuff. It is just spectacular. All right, so enough rambling about that. Let's go through the car. Let's review some of the great stuff. Let's look at some of the quality pieces that you really can't see from pictures. First off, paint is spectacular. Secondly, though, I like to point out like this stripe. This stripe here, not only is it hand painted on, right? It's then clear coated over. And so that's like a big extra step. You say, well, Tone, how can that, well, why is that such a big deal? Well, the reason it's such a big deal is because when they spend the time doing the work on the car, then they get the base coat on there. This right here would be much easier in a decal. They sell this as a decal. It's a hundred bucks, it'd be a lot less. Here, hand painting it on, then clear coating over all of that, add another thousand dollars to the price. Well, a thousand bucks, that can't be much. You're right. If that was the only thing that we did to the car, that would be that. But let's look at this. Let's look at the RS front end because a lot of times you're going to open this uh, set of pictures up and you go, you know what, that's a great looking car, man. But you don't know why it's a great looking car. And these are some of the things that make it that. For instance, the stance of the car. This car is on a full suspension instead of the old style leaf springs and, uh, and coils up front. This has a rack and pinion system here, adjustable coils in the rear, all right? So you can pick and choose the way you want the stance and the ride height to be, okay? Also, we talked about uh, this right here with the RS front end with the hideaway headlights on there. It makes the car finished. It looks really good. It makes the front end look even longer, especially being painted inside there, right? Uh, and, and as you say, well, listen, it's really shiny. You're right, it's really shiny because all the stuff is new. Right? So we're talking about even like the windshield wiper moldings, even the, uh, the wiper arms are polished. You say, well, Tom, really? Wiper arms that are polished? Why is that a big deal? You're right. If it was just the wiper arms that were polished, that would be cool, but we have the grill, the wheels and tires, and all of this stuff. And that's why I get so excited about a car like this, because when you can buy it at this price level, instead of having to build it, you could be driving it next weekend and saving yourself forty or $50,000 and having to wait three years to do that. I like to talk about the quality of the paint because most people don't understand the quality of paint is not the paint itself. You and I could paint cars, right? It's what goes on before. It's the prep. It's the flatter the metal, uh, the better the prep, and then wet sanding and buffing this car so the paint is flat so the, the light hits it and reflects back out. And that's exactly what's happening here and why this car looks so good. Each little piece adds up and adds up to uh, a spectacular build. All right, so let's take a peek where all of uh, the rumble starts from. So little stuff like this I wanted to point out. Again, we're talking about why, is, why are some cars better built than others. For instance, let's just start with something simple like hood hinges. Hood hinges uh, are basically free. Brand new ones are uh, 150 bucks for a pair, maybe less. But then when you step up to things like these billet hinges with their own gas shocks that hold them up, this is a whole other level of car. For instance, uh, inside here we have our uh, LS drivetrain. The LS drivetrain is all aluminum. It's fuel injected. You know, GM spent probably a billion dollars or, or in the $500 million mark to perfect this drivetrain. How could we do better than that? So we don't need to. We take them, we put them in here, all right, and they fit perfectly and they change the whole driving dynamic of the car. First off, it saves a lot of weight over the front end, okay? And it starts when it's cold, starts when it's hot, and just great. This has stainless headers on it as well. This also has air conditioning. The cool thing about it is you don't see all the air conditioning stuff going on here because this has a low mount compressor. The compressor is mounted down at the bottom of the engine. You can choose whether you want high or low mount and this cleans up everything in here. Power steering, four wheel power, big disc brakes we talked about earlier and it's just nicely detailed so when you do open the hood at a car show it looks really really professional and well done. Listen, the trunk's not a place you're going to spend a lot of time with, but I'm showing you detail stuff of why some cars are better than others. For instance, this has a full custom carpet made for this car, right? And then an additional carpet made for the center right here, all right? Billet, battery box, and Optima battery cover. Optima battery and billet battery cover. So you say, well, it's, a, it's just a battery. You're right, but this setup right here with the billet and moving the battery to the back and things like that is probably twelve or $1,300 just for these pieces and the labor to do all that. That's a big deal. The carpet, another five or $600. It's 
So we have two or three thousand dollars tied up in just making uh, the trunk a little bit nicer. The RS rear end is completed correctly with the correct tail lights lenses here. The reverse lights move down below the rear spoiler and just has a great finished look. All right, come on and join me inside here where you're going to spend most of your time. All right, so uh, little stuff and little stuff that you may or may not pick up in the picture, the description or what have you, but the gauge package is awesome, man. Look how well lit it is. All custom, 160 mile an hour speedometer, eight grand tack, console with the console gauges. Like this whole package setup, believe it or not, uh, with the gauges and the console and the wiring, all that's going to be $3,000. And so I throw out these numbers for you so you understand how you get to these levels of cars. Tilt steering column, right? This makes it easy to get in and out. Great three-spoke wheel here. And this right here is awfully nice. Six-speed. This is a nice little piece, too, that was added. It's console with console here. Uh, upgraded audio system. All right. This is actually a retro radio, meaning it looks similar to an old-school radio, but it has uh, digital guts inside of it. This right here is the HVAC system because it has modern heat and air conditioning. So you can use this car in the wintertime, the fall and whatever, when it's just an awesome time to be driving these on those back roads as well. Upgraded deluxe interior. So you need to look at what that means. That means that the door panels are molded in. They're not the flat door panels with uh, armrests just screwed on them. They're actually molded. And this is the upgraded fabric and all new headliner and package tray and those kinds of things in here to make for uh, just the difference of a car. The last little piece I like to point out is that like, when people restore cars, one of the things that they, they typically skip is the clock because the clock doesn't really matter. We have today's digital clock in our watches and stuff like that, but this clock happens to be working. And so I say, wow, there's a nice little touch uh, about a car that makes it just a little bit nicer. All right, let's close up the video and run down some of the things like the bullets of why a car like this is such a great value. Rack and pinion, complete front end change, right? Not the old school style. RS front end, completed with the rear end as well, the front and rear spoilers, the big bare brakes, big wheels and tires, LS drivetrain, all aluminum fuel injected, six-speed transmission, right? Uh, then we move on to like modern heat and air conditioning, digital sound system, Dakota gauges, it goes on and on and on, and that's why I get so excited and enthusiastic about it. I don't want to sound like a used car salesman, even though I am a used car salesman, although I'm hoping to be your favorite used car salesman, that's my goal is that you see some value here and you see that, you know what, it's three years to build a car like this, costs around $125,000 and this is the only way I would buy a car. I don't want to build a car and wait that long and struggle and have to be part of that process that takes forever and the failures that go along with it. Somebody else builds it, you save some money, they sort it out and you can get in the car and go for a drive. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about it. Destruction Don't you know that you can count me